so in this video we'll be talking about the labs and the labs toolkit so labs stands for local admin password solution so this labs is used to uh, generate the strong random password for the local administrators of the computers in the domain if you go google search for the setup you can see this uh, techcommunitymicrosoft.com here you can see uh, the setup if you follow this one uh, it will be uh, correctly installed so what this does is it's like a password manager for the local administrator uh, users for the computers in the domain so after uh, downloading this labs so my uh, installer you need to uh, run this one after running that you need to import the module admin password dot ps and after that you need to update this adm pwd ad schema so this will add the two attributes for the computer objects so if you go to the uh, i have created a new organization in labs group and there is this uh, nikki pc this is the windows 7 computer uh, if you right click on this properties attribute editor and those two are ms mcs uh, admin password and admin password expiration date so here you can see uh, ms mcs adm password so this is the randomly generated strong password for that computer the reason we are seeing this uh, value is because we are the administrator by default the domain admins can uh, see the password and can change them as well and you can see the expiration date so this you can convert the, to the unix uh, from the epoch time to the timestamp so after this expiration date there will be an agent that is csc agent uh, you need to install this uh, labs installer on this windows 7 box 2 so after that that agent will uh, query for this uh, timestamp and sees if there is a uh, expiry the password will be requested from this uh, labs so it's just a random password so what this uh, misconfiguration is whenever the users have the extended all extended rights uh, checked on then those users can read the uh, password for these uh, computers so let's go ahead and see this find uh, extended admin uh, sorry find admin password extended rights and identity is labs group that is the organization unit and here we can see uh, object uh, sorry object organization unit labs group and the extended right holders so by default system and domain admins are there i have added the user cat so let's go and remove that so one way to remove is go to this uh, labs group right click on this uh, security and you can see here the cat user just click on remove now apply and ok now if i go and run the command again i can see the cat user has been removed now let's go to the cat user and see whether we can read the password or not so run as user cat powershell.exe users cat desktop i have already copied this labs toolkit.ps1 so this labs toolkit uh, uh, displays all the computers with labs enabled password expiration and password if user has access so this is uh, displaying all the uh, labs computers uh, you can also uh, find command sorry get command find str slash i adm password now this gives all the uh, labs commandlets that are in from admin password.ps you can see you can also reset the password as well uh, you can if you follow the setup you can see the computer self permission so we need to assign this one otherwise the computers cannot change their password so 
so let's go and import this one import module labs toolkit and let's say get labs computers now here we can see we got the computer name nikki pc dot text and the docker and the password is blank because we are not allowed to view the password and the expiration date is uh, 3rd august 2022 so uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, allow this user to view the password so you can do that using set adm password read password permission on the identity labs group by allowed principles cat now we can see the user has been delegated to this labs group now i am going to run this get labs computers again now i should see the password we can see we we can see the uh, password for the logger admin for this computer So uh, there are also other commands that are fine labs delegated groups. So this will uh, find all the groups and users that have this extended right permissions on all of these uh, uh, labs group. So to run this. And we can see the cat user has the uh, delegated groups and the next one is find ADM password extender. So this is uh, very confusing because this the same command that is in the uh, here the ADM password dot ps find ADM password extended rights. So this is the same command that they have used in this lab studio. So whenever you import both, uh, you should not import both of this uh, ADM password.ps and the labs toolkit in the same PowerShell because there will be the function collision. So find ADM password extended rights. So the test one user has the all extended rights on this. So the test one user also have the read permission over this one. So uh, that's all about this uh, labs and labs toolkit. Uh, this gives an attacker a view of which users he should uh, get access to. So he, if he got the shell on the cat user, he got the shell on the local admin of that uh, the computer. So administrator should take care of uh, assigning these all extended uh, rights uh, because those users can read the uh, password as well.